the same? So God says as much as this people, he's identifying a certain type of people. But a lot of the people don't know who those people are. Especially the people that call themselves Christians today. They have no idea what the Bible is really saying. Read that. So, chapter 147 and verse 19. He showed his word unto Jacob. The so-called Hispanics, the blacks, the Native Americans. Those are the descendants of Jacob. Read it again. He showed his word unto Jacob. Who's the he that shows his words? That's right. The heavenly father, God, shows his words. But does everyone believe in the Bible? Do you believe in the Bible, sir? How about you, sir? Do you believe in the Bible? Huh? Do you believe in the Bible? You follow the Bible? Because Hispanics, Native Americans, and Blacks, they went all over the earth through the slave trade. Africa, Asia, Europe, Australia. You're from Senegal. Right. Our people are in Senegal. Watch this. Remember I asked you if any Africans have a Bible. What is this a map of? But what is this a map of? Because some of our people say they're African-American, correct? Right, but why do they say that? Because we came from Senegal, Ghana, Mali, South Africa, Israel, which is in Africa. But hold on, if you look at this map, it says Jews all over the place. Jews. So the Senegalese have some of the people there that were descended from our people, the Israelites. And we got to come back to the Bible. You see Levite cities. Those are the people today that call themselves Haitian. You see whiter. For the Judites, like yourself, the so-called African Americans. You see Ephraimite cities. We had a young lady come up that said she was from Puerto Rico. So Israel is in Africa, that's our homeland. But a lot of our people don't know they're the Israelites because of things like organized religion. Because of their own feelings. I want to do what I want to do. You only live once. Nobody can tell me anything. But God said he's showing you his words, but some people don't believe in the Bible. They don't understand. This is why we have these images to show what? The Native Americans, the Hispanics, the blacks, we all went on slave ships. But they don't teach us this. We all had our last names changed to Rodriguez, to Pierre, to Smith. But before we were Israelites, we practiced the laws of God. But now we do what America says is legal. And even what they say is illegal. Read that again. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. He shows his word unto Jacob. So God shows his word to the descendants of Jacob. Jacob's name was changed to Israel when he got blessed wrestling with an angel. You can read that in the book of Genesis. So Jacob, the word means supplanter because there were two sons. Jacob had a brother. His brother Esau is who people call the white person today. But they're not teaching this in organized Christianity, why? Why are they not teaching us the origins of where people come from? Why would they do that? Why would they not tell the truth? So why are there not documentaries on cable or TV about the truth? In your high school and global studies, why did they not teach you that there? That's why the true knowledge is going to come on the streets where our people are from the prophets of the Bible. That's right. True knowledge is not going to come from the college textbooks. Right. But if you want to be a doctor, you can learn from the college textbook. But there's more to life than that. We need to know what our connection to God is, what it was, what it should be, and how to come back to our nationality. That's so God is telling us who this book is for, the greatest book ever. A lot of our people walk by and they reject knowledge. God records that in his word because why? We're a hard-headed group of people. Right. That's why you see the jails filled with our people. Because we're hard-headed. We don't want to listen. Read it from the top. Yes, sir. Psalms chapter 147 and verse 19. Read it up. He showed his word unto Jacob. Is the Bible for Esau? 
because he shows his words to Jacob, the Israelites. Read. His statutes. His statutes. And his judgments. And his judgments. Unto Israel. So the judgments, right? Today is the Lord's Sabbath day, right? So there's certain things you're not supposed to do today. Do they tell us this in a Christian church? What day do the Christians go to church on? So what happens as a judgment for our people breaking laws, for them not keeping the Sabbath day? What happens? Romans 6. So he says he shows all his statutes and his judgments to Jacob. So what I want you to understand and all our people to understand is we the only ones that will continue to get punished for not keeping God's laws. All those other people, if it wasn't for them, they could really do what they want. But the problem is we want to do what they do. Our women want to dye their hair blonde and green and red. They want to have their eyelashes extended. They want to extend their butts with a butt lift. They want to get abortions. They want to sell drugs. Yeah. All of the things that the other nations did, we found alluring and excited and said, we want to do that too. That's how we got away from our commandments. So what's going to happen to our people if they don't know what to do today or they decide, I'm not going to do what God says? Read. Romans chapter 6 verse 23. For the wages of sin is death. The wages. Do you have a job? Do you get an hourly wage, a weekly wage, a monthly wage? So you get paid for what you do at work. So this life is our work for God. That's what He said that faith, belief in him, without working for it, is dead. People can't say, oh, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, and just sit by and do nothing. It don't work like that. That's what America has our people doing. That's why they say blacks are lazy. Because they put systematic things in place for us to feel like this. Because this life ain't living. Are we supposed to come outside and see what we see out here? But our people are satisfied with that. They don't want what God said is better, the kingdom of heaven. That's why we come out here to tell our people, you got to keep God's commandments to get the kingdom of heaven. You got to know who you are according to the Bible. You got to know what your nationality is. You got to know what days you're supposed to keep holy and which days are folly, these wicked ass holidays out here that all go back to demonic paganism rituals. So God say, yo, I'm going to pay you, I'm going to reward you, or I'm going to punish you depending on what you do. Read it again. For the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. Now what's sin? There's a lot of people, right? They say they believe in God. There's different words people will use to describe their connection with God, their opinions on religion. Some people will say I'm spiritual. Some people say I'm a Christian. Some people say I don't believe in nothing but myself. Some people say they believe in nature. All types of things. But when you talk about sin, it's connected with our history and our records. That word means something according to God. Let's read what it means. First John, chapter three and verse four. Whosoever commits sin, whoever commits sin, transgresses, breaks. Transgress means to break. So if you commit sin, you break. Also the law. You break the law. Read it again from the top. Whosoever committed sin, transgresses. Also the law. Go ahead. For sin is the transgression of the law. So sin is breaking God's law. Go back to, uh, are we on this side? Go back to uh, Isaiah 29, 13. Uh, how did y'all learn about God? Anybody? How did y'all learn about God? Huh? Research? Church? Family? What kind of church? Tablet? All right. Do tablet priests today have sex with little boys? I mean, they get caught for it. I'm just showing you, since I was looking at this sign, right? These are denominations of organized religion. We was talking about that before. The Israelites, we don't have religion. The word religion itself is Latin. It means to constrain, to separate, to bind. Why does it do that? Because some people are so caught up in their belief system. Oh, I'm Episcopalian. We got to do this on Sunday. 
on Seventh Day Adventist, we go to church on Saturday, which is correct. But all these people that started these, we don't have Catholicism on here, but this is an example of Catholicism where they changed the image of Christ. How come it ain't none of our faces up here? Bring it up! So we was led astray, slavery, our family keep perpetuating. But this is what happened, Isaiah 29, 13. Isaiah chapter 29 and verse 13. Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people. So God said, as much as our people do what? Draw near me with their mouth. We can then God and say, yo, I believe in God. Any of y'all pray? Wow. So that's what it's talking about. We get close to God because sometimes we like, yo, what's the meaning of this? Yo, I got to deal with this. Yo, it's crazy out here. God, show me the way. So he's saying as much as this people right here, my people, they get close to me. Why are we not closer? Because of all of the ish that happened to us. How this system did us and the distractions or whether it's drugs or women or weed or ill guy or money, whatever it is in this life, there's something to distract us. It could be the video game. Television, bro. It could be the bottle. Television. That television, that programming, Program. all of that stuff. No, no, you about to teach next. Keep on. So all of those things distract us. He said, wherefore, because this people, my people, they get close to me with their lips. Seeing so many videos and images of people in church, God, Lord, God, they honor him. But hold up. How they don't know today the Sabbath day? How they know, don't know you're not supposed to celebrate your birthday? How many people in the church getting abortions? But they know thou shalt not murder. What the hell is going on here? How many of the pastors is sexing somebody they know is married? What the hell is going on here? How many of these people that get pregnant, the father is not even who they think is a father? Why did the dude in Brooklyn get robbed when he was taking the people money buying Gucci and Fendi and Louis? Hold on, the church system is trash. And they ain't telling us our nationality. And they keep perpetuating these stupid ass lies. Read on. And with their lips do honor me. But what? But have removed their heart far from me. Our people don't understand. Your heart is not with God. Let's get the heart for the people. Bring it when you read the Bible, we have to be taught and we have to do our research and we gotta be doing right for us to get understanding. We know it's many people in the hood that got beliefs. Everybody's smart in the hood. Even not in the hood. In the university, they also think they smart. Right. But they no knowledge that can compare to this. Let's prove that real quick. Give me Baruch 401 and then we're gonna come back. Any knowledge that you think you have, it's trash compared to this Bible, and we'll stand on that any day of the week. Any day of the week. Baruch 4 1 is going to show us, and we're going to come back, and the next teacher is going to come up in case anybody got any questions. But Christianity, the garbage got to stop. These wicked ass women in the church that want to be leading over men, where it's not supposed to be no women preachers. Did our people know that? You stupid ass Christian. The Bible say the men are the leaders. That's why it's a phrase, who wear the pants in the household? Because pants was made for men first. Right. But America in the 1860s and 50s, and then in the 1950s say, yo, let's experiment. Bring it out. After World War One, let's make these pants. Amelia Bloomer with the big ass bicycle with the wheel. Our dresses can't get on that. So let's make pants. Let's make this image of a strong woman. Oh, don't say that too loud. But in the 70s, when you had power to the people, our women was right with us. But they ain't with us now. Right. They're independent now. Right. We don't need you now. This artificial insemination now. I get that check, nigga, now. Bring it out. Read. Baruch, chapter 5, verse 1. The Israelites got the knowledge of God. Read that. This is the book of the commandments. Read. Of God. The book of the commandments of God. Go ahead. And the law that endures forever. That never stops. 336. Baruch 336. Baruch chapter 3 verse 36. He has found out of the way of knowledge. God found all the way of knowledge. That's what God did. And what did he do? Read. And have given it to a lot. Who he gave it to. We already know. Those of you that have been saying. We know who has the knowledge. As many beliefs. That's right. I believe in that star and that constellation. Now nah, we don't deal with that. We deal with facts. That's what Read. And have given it unto Jacob. Unto the 12 tribes of Israel. That's who we gave the knowledge to. But what? Our people reject knowledge. Right. 
That's the problem. What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. 